Totally. What's going on, guys? This is uh, Double Axis Podcast number 20. Um, I was uh, scrolling through uh, my news feed on Facebook the other day, and I noticed that my friend Adam here had posted a link to a YouTube page with a, with a music video. So I clicked on it, and I saw that it said the Kentucky Swamp Waters, which is actually funny because we always called L8 Kentucky Swamp Water back in the That's day. Where it came from. There you go. <laughs> so. Um, but I clicked on it and I listened to it and uh, I really love the music and I sent Adam Basically right away a message saying hey, you guys need to come on the podcast I let David listen to it, which David is the ultimate He, he just scrutinizes everything musically <laughs> and I put it on in the Durango through uh, Bluetooth and he's like dude This is awesome. I'm like that's what I, that's what I was thinking and so Now we are blessed the to have of what's up was dope <laughs> he's been talking about it all yeah. day long he doesn't stop and see I, I love the hurricane song because I didn't know that you sang yeah and so I hear I hear your whiskey pipes and with her beautiful pipe I'm like holy crap <laughs> y'all got something going on here and so um you know I'm we're blessed to have you on Adam Linkus Brittany page right correct mm -hmm. so you got it flipped up on Facebook and mm -hmm. it confused me <laughs> so Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I hope you guys had an awesome week, and um, this is the I, this is the most excited that I've been for a podcast, especially after you guys did the cover of Rihanna. And I was just sitting here like almost like an out of body experience. Like, dude, this is pretty cool. This yeah, is, it's like the greatest <laughs> song ever. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, especially the way that you guys kind of do it together. I mean, it sounds fantastic. I I was just it was like an out of body experience. Yeah, it I'm sounded like, like Stevie was in here. <laughs> it did. I was like. I was like, this is the first time that I've been blown away kind of by the coolness of what we're trying to do here <laughs> and bringing new people in. And um, so thank you guys so much for being here. Absolutely. Um, so, for so no problem, man. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I've sent a lot of invites out to people and I've talked to a lot of people about it. And uh, it seems like people always flake out. So I'm so, I'm so glad that you guys are here. Like I said, I at the last minute I always expect something bad to happen so when y'all ring the doorbell you, you showed me my cards so <laughs> you gotta be like man we got all these people yeah. calling emailing wanting to be on and we're like we, we don't put you all on here <laughs> yeah so um you know I've known Adam for a long time obviously just met you um I guess what intrigues my interest the most is what really got you guys started in music like what's your what music you kind of started listening to that inspired you? How do you actually got into music? Because I believe you started with band, is that right? Uh, no, actually, my whole family, or I mean, everybody's a musician, but my mother. So you didn't play drums? No, I okay. can't. I'm the worst drummer. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I can't play for shit. I just can't do it. Gotcha. I, I can't. I can't do different time signatures on different limbs and different patterns on different limbs. I just can't do it. Like guitar strings make sense to me, but right. drums are just terrible. My whole family are musicians. Uh, my dad has been playing live since before I was born. Still plays oh, live wow. today. He's in a couple of bands. What are those bands? Just uh, well, he curious. was playing with Caught Red Handed, uh, which is a pretty big cover band in Lexington. But they're uh, I don't know. They're kind of they're kind of just randomly pick people in different bands all the time and just their all lineups always different so right. he doesn't play at them anymore he does play at the Eagles tribute band Sweet. so he does a Eagles thing it's pretty neat back in the summer he had a uh, Phil, Richmond's Philharmonic Orchestra backing him and he wrote their music for them wow that's pretty cool yeah. Yeah. for each individual section I was like Jesus Christ I remember how to do that that's, <laughs> that's a talented guy yeah, yeah. talented dude my that's dad great. is um, so it's it's basically ingrained mm -hmm. in you it's it's in your blood to, to to play music so um i guess did you just start out with the guitar and you actually no I, i'm a bassist by nature but okay. i can play guitar banjo a little bit of uke a little bit of mandolin wow sing. impressive impressive um what what music did you kind of listen to growing up that kind of inspired you to i think my first album was Metallica's Black Album, the one that I actually chose myself. My man. But, uh, 
I also, in the same token, went out and bought myself an Alanis Morissette CD. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, to this day, I love that woman. Yeah, she's I'm not going to hate on that. I'm not going to hate on she's that. She's an I mean, amazing musician. I just professed my love for uh, Fleetwood Mac. And I, I oh, mean, well, you, that's not even something to be embarrassed about. <laughs> well, I, I've always wondered that. I've always wondered if, well, if I'm like able to tell dudes. It's like right when you hit a certain age, if you're a white person. You know, <laughs> like, when I was younger, people would be like, Fleetwood Mac's like the best band. I was like, what? And then, like, I think, like, when you turn, like, 23, maybe, 24, you're like, yeah, they're really good. Yeah. It's like a white person thing. Yeah. I don't know what happened. I just, I, I went into a store one day, and, like, I left with a Fleetwood yeah. Mac number ones album, and I put it in. It's when the good vibes yeah. happen. Yeah. So, like, your 23rd birthday, you just, like, automatically run to the nearest CD store. That's I must have matured. That's a good-ass hell song, 94.5. Yeah, yeah. And scars and... Right. I haven't went all the way down the rabbit hole yet, but I, I did. I probably bought it at like 28, 29, and I still listen to it like at least once every six months. What are some talented people, man? Yeah, talented just talented. incredibly talented. Rumors is like probably one of the best albums like ever made, I think. I mean, I can't. Every song on it's great. I can't uh, deny that, but yeah. So, what about you? What, what got you in? Um, obviously. You know, you have a fantastic voice. You, I see you, uh, you know, strumming a little bit. Were you, I mean, is it something that happened early in life or is it something that you came upon later? Or? Oh, I've sang since I've been itty bitty. Itty bitty? Yeah. Okay. I sang like in church growing up. I did all the musicals in high school, all that. Oh, jazz. really? That's very interesting. Yeah. So you, um, just the musicals, Did were you in the plays too? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's yeah. awesome. So yeah, you, I did theater and musicals and. That's very cool. Um, yeah. And so, like guitar and everything like that, or do you play that as well? No, just, just the, you. Just, you. I just started that a few months ago. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you did you did very well in Thank the beginning. You. So, um, what about you? What were your inspirations? Who did you kind of take upon? Or um, I don't know. I listened to a lot of classic rock growing up, so I really liked Joan Jett when I was younger. I thought she was pretty cool. I liked her masculinity. That's her very cool. How she balance that out yeah that's pretty cool i still kind of lean towards the classic metallica that that yeah. area as well i think it's uh probably the golden era of rock especially so <laughs> always like james joplin too james always getting cool. yeah james joplin is yeah always getting like uh i don't know if arguments are the right word but i'm just not a big beatles guy oh no first boy baby mm -hmm. I, I agree. <laughs> Beach Boys. That's <laughs> the first boy band. Beach Boys per precede them, but the Beach Boys are better than the Beatles. I like the Beach Boys yeah. because they let Char Charles Manson write some of their songs. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. They don't no, give that's, credit yeah, that's very true. They don't give him it's, credit it's, for it's a, it's a well known fact. I, yeah. This is the closest they just I could. steal it? No, like, uh, like he. he Sold some songs. Yeah, that's kind of why he went on his rampage. I mean, he hung out with them. He was friends of Brian Wilson's brother. Like, he slid at his house for a little bit. And like the rumor is that Brian Wilson's brother like stole some of the songs from. Yes, him. yes. yeah, I was talking about I've heard that, that too. Yeah, but he was like literally paid as a ghostwriter yeah. for two yes. of the Beach Boys songs. So. Yeah, but ghostwriter is key because like you would know like uh -huh. obviously, stole obviously it. they're yeah. gonna try to black that out of there. But Charles Manson has like a really good song. It's uh, I actually play a couple of them. Yeah, it was it, yeah. Uh, really good. He's a really talented musician. Was it? The, I can't remember that. <laughs> well, we're gonna go through Skelter. <laughs> There's a Six City. That's it's a like good Watch one. Where You're Going, Girl, or uh, what's up? What What is Your Game, Girl? Yeah, What Is Your Game, Girl? That song yeah. is really good. It is really good. Yeah, Guns N' Roses does a good cover of it. Yeah, he's a fantastic musician. Yeah. I mean, absolutely bashing crazy, but. <laughs> <laughs> but what a talented musician. Rest in peace. Yeah. Talented rest in peace. Too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, that's the closest I've came to want to hug somebody when they said the first boy band were the Beatles. <laughs> do you agree with that, or do you are you a Beatles fan? Um, I'm on the fence. I agree with they've that. They've got some, they've got some good bangers, but I think yeah. they're Paul McCartney is the they best are Beatles. If you all talk <laughs> about Paul McCartney, this is over. <laughs> no, no, Paul McCartney is the only Beatle that's worth a shit. Yeah, I think their it's history like is undeniable, artist. but as far as me. Uh, I mean, that's not something that I jam weekly or anything like that. No, so. man, it gets like too ultra hippie for me yeah. at points where I'm just like, dude, it's like, here's the Leo the Submarine, I did a bunch of fucking drugs, crazy <laughs> album. It's like, it's so stupid. Jim yeah. Carrey does a really good version of one of their songs. <laughs> like, you've never heard of it. No, I haven't heard that. I'll have to look oh, that man, up. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, who doesn't like I have the walrus or whatever. <laughs> yeah, he does a really, really good work. I'm just learning the history of music with Charles Manson and, and now Jim Carrey. <laughs> it's going, going down the memory lane here. Um, so, 
once you you guys got your bass and music and, and you kind of had your um i guess the people that you look to for i guess inspiration um how long was it before you guys actually started playing whether it be publicly with a band or whatever like that i don't know if like you, with each other or separately? no no separately oh before before you all started playing together i, I think my you go, 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 go. But it's all you. No, he, he led last time, so you go ahead. Yeah. Ladies first. Oh, well, I was with a band for four years. Four years. But I didn't start that band until I was like 20. So, so you didn't have any activity. previous experience? Everything like that was, was like, you know, just to the plays and then personally, I, I saw. Yeah. Okay. So how long did you play with that band? About, about four years, Okay. I would say. What was the style with that? Was it the same... Was it similar to what you guys are playing now, or? <laughs> no, it was. Um, it was really hard to, to give it a genre. Actually, it's kind of like hard rock, alternative rock. The instruments are heavy. I'm not. But okay. So. So nothing like Flyleaf. That's the only thing I could think of. Uh, kinda. Kinda. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's not a terrible way. That, to nah, yeah. <laughs> I'll say Flyleaf. I can yeah. I can dig a couple Flyleaf yeah. songs. Yeah. I can see as that. As long as we don't say Paramore, we're happy. <laughs> no, 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 that didn't come to mind. Flyleaf and then Amy Lee were the only two things I there it is, oh, there you, it just, is. you just warmed her heart. <laughs> That's the only two things that I could pull down. That's There's a halo above your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I did a lot of prep for this, you know, I came prepared. What about you, big guy? I know that you're more into metal, so have I mean, you had. Yeah, like, I guess ever since I was young, I just constantly searched for the heaviest possible music I could find. You sent me some stuff and it scared me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's the pretty much most of the music that I listen to. It's kind of weird because I don't play that music. Right. In fact, I don't like playing that music. I just like listen to it. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I slept with the lights on that night. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ashamed to say it. I, I, I like playing like folky kind of country. Uh, Has that always been the case though? No. I was so against <laughs> it like my whole life. And then... I picked up a banjo one day with my brother, and I was like, oh my god, this is so much fun. Really? <laughs> so, as soon as I grabbed that banjo, I was like, okay, I'm open to listen to Blue How Pass. old were you when that happened? This was like a few years ago. Okay, so it's been recent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. like three, three I mean, years ago. I let's, mean, let's face it, we all evolved. first experience of Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Yeah. 23rd <laughs> birthday. <laughs> right. it's, it's that first Fleetwood Mac feeling. I, I get it. Right? I get it. When I heard Stevie's voice, and I was like, I can't. Because this is the That's honest hilarious. truth. <laughs> um, I, you know, I used to go travel a lot with basketball. And back in middle school, Brian Berriman, I don't know if you know where <laughs> him, Brian. he was ahead of the curve because he had a Fleetwood Mac CD in there. So I'm flipping through his CDs. He gives them to me, you know, back when you had Walkmans, and that's all you had to listen to on the basketball trips. Oh, don't forget about fucking mini discs, son. <laughs> no, this was not mini discs. This was a straight CD player Walkman. And so I put Fleetwood Mac in. I'm like, oh, God, this is garbage. And like, you know, <laughs> go back to the Nelly or whatever back then that, oh, you know. <laughs> I had to get hyped up for my basketball games. I was not into the arts back then. But I just think back to those times. I'm like, man, that dude was like really far ahead of his time as far as listening to that stuff. That's some pretty, you know, mature music. And now that I listen to it. probably think his fucking dad. Yeah. <laughs> the, the I chain. probably should. I see him at Kroger all the time. I'll do that next time. The chain has like one of the best guitar songs. Yes, absolutely. Like and uh, oh god, what's the other one? Um, I cannot think of it. The one that the dude sings. Oh, his name Lindsay, right? Yeah, Lindsay. 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 Yeah. Lindsay. Oh gosh, he sings it. But it's like a solo that he does. There's no nobody else in there. I can't remember the name of the song. But he has a lot of really good guitar solos and stuff in there. He's just well. a phenomenal guitarist altogether. And they were like a blues band prior to Stevie. Oh man, in. you can hear yeah. it in the guitar. Yeah, you can was, hear it all day in the guitar. It was really good play. before, yeah. but then it reached like a, a whole, whole new level. level. Yeah. yeah, sometimes that's what it takes. I almost like still band. see them as blues in a way. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not by any means a, a musical historian so i love to listen to you guys talk and, and kind of hear all the influences and stuff like that because you know like i said i'm not a historian but 
you guys are like very specific on the guitar riffs and everything like that but just coming into it after listening to just garbage rap and stuff like that <laughs> and and coming into some of it was good back in the day yeah. I, like, oh, I still good. like some Dre and some old yeah school, yeah some, like, I mean but it's Snoop, I think but... it's almost devolved I think mm -hmm. the rap has almost evolved to where it's just completely you can't even listen to it anymore so oh, no it's terrible you have to seek other things and... I seek underground rappers when I want to listen to rap yeah I mean that's probably you the right thing rap. to do yeah I mean even like people that I listened to growing up, Eminem, I listened to his new stuff, and I'm like, what is this? Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage. Frisbee, this thing. So, yeah, I mean, uh, that's actually a really... I think Brittany likes a little bit of rap or something. Do you? Mm -hmm. You dig yeah, a little, a little rap? rap, don't you? A little you? bit. Oh, yeah? I'm actually a, a rapper myself. Oh, yeah? So. <laughs> You're going to spit a couple bars for us right now? Is that what's happening right now? I can't remember. David, lay the beat down. <laughs> actually, I got banned from MySpace like 10 years ago because I had some rap on there. And like I had like a musician page and it got banned and taken down. Like your own thing. musician yeah, page? Yeah. I hope that. Thing. I hope oh, that. Were that, you a rapper? Yeah. I hope that. Some rhymes? I hope that. I can't do it anymore because like when you reach that Fleetwood Mac age. You have to make room for it. It just goes thing. downhill. Yeah. yeah, that's hilarious. So I actually, um, I did a lot of preparation for this, like wanting to, to learn more about music, and we talked about uh, Fleetwood Mac, and like they had a lot of problems that kind of kept them from continuing to release the music. And I and I watched uh, the Metallica documentary, and I was like shocked at all the stuff that I guess that I took for granted that I, I'm sure that you guys have experienced with prior bands and stuff like that, like all the stuff that goes on with. I guess artistic infighting and trying to release some music. Yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. all already experienced that stuff? I mean, that's that was so interesting to me. It was we're like really easy about it. Well, yeah. you guys are. I'm sure you guys are matured and have learned from those past experiences. But was there like any experiences in the past that would just like blew out of proportion that affected the way that you do things now? I don't know if it affects me currently. But you had a worse experience than I did. I mean, not really. I just. Hmm. <laughs> Have you seen the Metallica documentary? Is it some kind of monster? Is that the, the name of it? Yeah. Um, basically, I guess uh, James Hetfield was going through rehab, and they they are trying to figure out the future of Metallica. And then you got Lars and James, and they're always going back and forth. And I was like, oh my god, I never, I just took this for granted. Like I never even realized that this type of stuff happened. Like, well, like a lot of times you'll experience. Uh, it just depends on the band you're in and the people that are in it. That's true what too. What their mentalities are, because sometimes you don't get a lot of artistic inspiration because there's a couple of people who are involved in trying to basically make all of the decisions and it's not a band anymore. It's right. dude and the dude tones. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude tones. so you're basically what you're what you get is that sometimes you get overly aggressive people who want to change it to them and what they want. Complete basically control over the entire situation and not make it like a any type of democracy whatsoever. Basically, yeah, it's a yeah. dictatorship in the band at that point. So, um, she said that she played in in the Flyleaf type, you know, band, Amy Lee type band. Did did you, and you said you didn't play hard rock. So were you? Oh, I've been in metal. Okay, bands. okay, that's what I was asking. You know, I've been in metal bands. It just stopped interesting me to play it anymore after a while, and I started listening to all this country. How stuff. How long did you play it? You you had to play it for a while, right? Jeez, probably from thirteen to about twenty. About twenty six was the last time I was wow. in a metal band. What Straight kind of country country. stuff? Uh, really got you into I'm a kind of like a bigger bluegrass kind of guy. Yeah. I don't really like so much country uh, unless yeah. they're talking about old country. Yeah. Like ninety eight point one is not. No, no that's no, not country. country. I don't think, <laughs> that's yeah. not country the now. Bull? Yeah. The bull. The bull is not country. <laughs> no. You say that with a Russian is accent? Bull. The bull. <laughs> ninety eight point one is bull. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I completely get it's that. It's terrible. It's just, um, it seems like you guys both came from a metal background. It's kind of a weird transition. Um, do you yeah. feel like that it gives you more, I don't know, like uh, artistry towards the craft? I mean, is that is that what drew you? What drew you? I guess it sets us apart, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Does that set us apart at all? I just, I just like to play music. Me too. I don't, I don't, just... I don't really think about it. Yeah. Well, me, I know that you and I had talked about it and basically what we came up with is that it's kind of in our blood is, you know, coming through Kentucky through all these years and, and having such like an Irish folk and then country bluegrass, you know, heritage, you always kind of get drawn back to it. It just seems like it speaks to you. 
I guess more than yeah. anything like that. So did you feel like any kind of draw like that as soon as you picked up the banjo? I mean, I heard that banjo ring and I was like, that's perfect. <laughs> so happy right now. Yeah. And, I, and I would feel like that it would almost give you the ability to showcase your voice more playing this type of music and not being kind of overshadowed by. Yeah. Kind of felt like I had to scream all the time. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Came home very hoarse. Right. Many shows. That makes, that makes, I mean, that's kind of the way I envisioned it. It, it gives you a little bit more leeway to, to actually focus on your voice and not be drowned out by all the instrument and heavy rock. And I'm sure you had to do some headbanging too, right? So much headbanging. So much headbanging. So, hurts so many like, years oh, of headbanging. I'm pretty sure I have serious damage to my neck because of it. My neck hurts all the time. I'm not even playing. Um, so I feel like everybody's past experience is leading them to what they, they're meant to do. Kind of like, you know, David went from his rapper self to Fleetwood Mac. I mean, Fleetwood Mac <laughs> is probably destiny for him. So It's got to come full circle back. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> it all, it's all about Fleetwood Mac. That's what I had to get about. some pleated khakis and like a polo shirt. I'm like, this is it, man. It's my Jordan year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, so all of this stuff kind of led you all to, to this point. How did you all meet and start playing music together? I mean, it's Winchester. We've known each other forever. <laughs> oh, you, you have known her forever? Yeah. Uh, somewhat forever. I mean, her boyfriend is one of my best friends, and we've known each other since middle school. You guys went to Clark Middle, right? Yeah. Why don't yeah. you tell, tell the story you told Clark me the other night about how you actually met Adam first? Before you had met me. <laughs> I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it. I like it. this guy. You've slept with one of my friends many a times. And I've been home and I have banged on the ceiling with a broom. I don't know if you remember me. She just, but I know you. Um, that sounds like Oh, a, you know what? That might be true. It is true. I think I do remember that. That sounds like friends with... Uh, God, what's his name that bangs on the roof? It made I don't know, but I like, I like this oh, motion. <laughs> I'm talking about making a, a chill person. They were making a lot of noise, a lot of rattling. I can't handle all this. That's when he was sorry. That's okay. when he was still metal. I forgive you now. <laughs> you still, so you guys have known each other for a long time, and you obviously were in different genres. Did you just sit down one night and jam? Is that how it all transpired? I or? think it actually transpired by Brittany not knowing that I could sing. Oh, interesting. And uh, I guess Matt uh, kind of intervened in some way, shape, or form, and was like, hey, you and Brittany should play music, or Brittany wants you to play music, or however that went down. I'm not really sure, but so he's basically your agent, right? <laughs> kind of. I'm tired of hearing her complain about her other band, so I set her up with that actual musician who that, wouldn't. That wouldn't makes sense. To her. That makes sense. And so hopefully you guys compliment each other. I mean, I, I guess like we do. I I heard the music and I was like, holy crap! I've not heard this before. I mean, I was just blown away, and it just the way that you all compliment each other, and, and I didn't know you could sing either. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> so when did the, when did you learn? Accident. When did you learn this? When I found out I like country and like <laughs> so at twenty six, kind of figured it out. I was like, this is what did you start listening to? Did, was it straight bluegrass? Uh, mostly, yeah. I started off with like Earl Scruggs, like traditional banjo. Um, he kind of created the three finger style that you hear yeah. nowadays. Uh, Scruggs style banjo playing is what you're gonna hear in bluegrass almost all the time. I actually can't play Scruggs style. I play claw hammer. Yeah, which is like my grandpa the, plays that way. There's this claw really hammer? really good no, no, no. video. Like Scruggs style, yeah, yeah, Scruggs style. He played with the the birds playing with their old scrubs, like the band the birds playing with their old scrubs, and they do like a Bob Dylan cover of "You Ain't Going Nowhere." Hmm. It's, it's like one of the best YouTube videos of all time. Let's hmm. put that in there. <laughs> nice. I was thinking Earl Scrubs. Scruggs or Scrubs? Scruggs. Scruggs. There. That's what I don't want no are. Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> David's been drinking since noon. I just wasn't sure if it's like, I feel like I'm it's a like different board. person we're talking about. Because I'm no, like, I'm not sure what yeah. um, <laughs> He's hung out at the pool hall all day. <laughs> whatever, man. Hey, gotta I make like, money somehow. <laughs> I like getting drunk too, fuck it. So, uh, I don't know, I just started listening to that, and then it kind of went on to just finding newer bluegrass, because my ex only exposure to bluegrass was really watching those terrible KET videos. Oh, like, those are really and, like, bad. Like, they're really bad. I love those. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love I them for love just to laugh at them? Or? No. <laughs> like the gospel they're, bluegrass it, it bands just, playing? That's terrible. I don't know. 
I grew up in church. It feels feels like home. It I doesn't, understand that. It doesn't I, that make sense. Sense. Right. That makes sense. I, yeah, I, like I grew it. up Southern Baptist, so that makes sense to me too. Pentecostal here. Oh wow, you yeah. went hardcore. That's why you're so. <laughs> that's why you're so metal through your life. Right. So, did you do vocals when you were doing metal? Uh, no, I knew that I couldn't. <laughs> oh, okay. It's really hard. Yeah, it's really hard. My, my, you would enjoy talking with my brother-in-law so much. Um, he actually lives in Washington State, and he's had several bands, and they've done some little mini tours, like through, like uh, I guess the Seattle, Washington area, down to Vegas, California, making the circuit. tours end up actually costing the band. Money. Yeah, I don't know how he ever came out on those, but I know that they. I mean, he rocked it for a long time. He's from Frankfurt, but he moved out there. Um, you know. A long time ago, so yeah. but you you would love talking to him, and he actually does vocals, and it's pretty insane what they can do with their voice. What kind of music do you play? Just metal. Oh, metal. It's metal. What yeah. kind of metal? I mean, that's kind of a broad term, though. I'll, I'll let you listen to some of it okay. after we finish, and you can make that determination because I don't know if I'm metal enough to make a metal <laughs> determination. <laughs> to break it down. Right. Did he have to like twist your arm to get you to 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 explore this genre, or is this something that you've all, because of your singing in church and everything as well? Is it something that was kind of ingrained in you? Nah, I just. I don't know. I live life by the horns. I'll do anything once. <laughs> you know. But do you enjoy it now that you've done yeah, it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, just yeah. because that you're able to... It seems like you all play a lot, though. I mean, we have Fleetwood Mac. We've had uh, Chris Cornell. So you guys yeah. kind of... We practice about once every week or two. You know, we practice <laughs> a lot at once, home. Twice every week We're or adults. two. We're adults. Yeah. All right. We got, we got lives. Yeah, I understand that completely. I understand that completely. It's it's hard to to balance and manage everything, but the stuff that I saw out of you guys was phenomenal. So it's just it's just refreshing to see you guys playing in a certain acoustic style, but you have different songs from kind of different genres, so to speak, and you kind of all put it together. Which to me, if I was going to watch you guys, that would be something I would rather enjoy other than sitting down. Like I was, uh, I went to uh, Proud Mary's. Uh, on Saturday for a surprise party and there's a band there and it's all one genre you know they don't they right. don't spread out and branch out and take any chances they just keep it simple so I think it's I think it's kind of cool that you all play so many different genres with so many different artists and kind of put it all together and make it your own yeah I think I get bored a lot playing the same kind of thing <laughs> over and over again so I try makes, to change it makes perfect <laughs> yeah. sense right. I mean you have to make everything your own like everything to me life is finding your own niche and running with it and I feel like you guys have found that niche, and I'm sure that you can add to it as well, because I saw some was just you guys, and then other with people that were playing like the drum box, and then I think you even <laughs> have one. Then you even have one with a dude that was playing like uh, stand up bass. Yeah, yeah, stand up bass. That's my brother. That's awesome. So he plays a stand up bass. Yeah, uh, he plays it. I accidentally broke it one time. <laughs> oh, I, I saw your sticker. Bass, I saw so. your sticker. Be calm, whatever. And I'll oh. end up breaking some shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. I just I just found random stickers. <laughs> stick them on my guitar. Yeah. So does he play with you guys frequently, or is it mainly uh, just you We're two? thinking about pulling him in. We got a couple of uh, musician offers where we're going to try to kind of fill some of the backspace that's missing in yeah. some of the songs. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, I've got a I've got a girl right now that I'm I'm looking at that's a a very talented violinist. Oh, that's cool. So I would like to put her in there and play fiddle fiddle for us. Uh, my brother's a really good guitarist. He's good at anything he picks up. Honestly, he can play anything. Uh, and I got what Trey. Yeah. Yeah, Trey's a really talented guitarist. We're probably gonna grab him too. What is that? Crazy little, we got a little bit of feedback going. Yeah, on. that's yeah. you. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> I do. I'm like, why is that so weird? Is your is your uh, headphones plugged in? Yeah, it's plugged in. Okay. My ears, near term, like kind of busted. Oh, um, yeah. You probably need to turn the volume down a little bit because I turned it up. That's what it was. So the volume's up pretty low. But we'll t we'll turn that down for you. Yeah, play. I don't know how to turn it down. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We like to turn that down before we play. It's loud. Well, it's probably it's it's probably I'm probably the one that's probably too loud because I'm sitting the closest to it. Um, have you guys played out in? public at all or have you kept this more to personal with our old band we did so you guys played together in a band before it's the same band we're just okay i'm kind of like well, even less. Less. So, yeah, okay. we're a couple people less than we were before yeah just com that way. conflicting ideas no you know just i just kind of stopped practicing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're just like so this is the first that the other people in the band know about it and they'll be watching this and be like no, I'm pretty sure they knew like a long time ago. Yeah, we all just stopped practicing. <laughs> they kind of all went off and did their own. They thing, were made so aware. Yeah, we they got their own stuff it. going on. So. Yeah. That's all right. 
um, do I assume that you guys have future plans of of you know maybe playing some shows and stuff oh, like absolutely. that? Absolutely, yeah. that is definitely the goal. So, I mean, your all's YouTube videos seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, hopefully, you'd be doing more. You know, they're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. <laughs> it's better than you would expect. They're not better. I, I was I was impressed. I was impressed. You all got like 150, 200 views yeah. on the Christmas. Now that they got the double like axis bump, yeah. oh, yeah. they don't go over the top. Yeah. It's like with front our, page YouTube. 30 something subscribers. <laughs> it. 30 hey man, strong. that's 30 we didn't have before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we can transition. He's trying to sell himself short. I don't know if you got a lot of, you you got a lot of influence. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, so maybe maybe the talent's been there all along. You guys just have a bad market. I think I subscribed. So I'm like one of your all subscribers. <laughs> nice. You better. Have I you. did. I think I did. I'm yeah, I shared sure. it on I shared it on yeah. my page to try to get y'all nice. a little bit more Thank you. And I mean, I think the talent's definitely there, and I think people will definitely kind of draw to it once they hear it. But it's just a matter of getting people to listen to it. I always say on the podcast, like if you post food or baby pictures or whatever it may be. Cats. You get all tons of <laughs> dogs, whatever, tons of likes. Right. But then you try to share something about your dreams or something you're trying to better yourself with. Nobody wants to. It's like, like it's a yeah, you got four likes. Yeah, okay, well, my daughter got 53 wearing At a the same cowboy. time, I mean, like, how often do you go on YouTube and be like, I want to see what someone else's dreams are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, Kentucky Swamp Waters, I, don't I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily do that with YouTube, but like with people's pages, I definitely do that. I mean, I don't know if it's something that I've started since we started to kind of this movement, but I mean, to me, it's important to get people's dreams out there and, and um, you made a, a comment to me that kind of resounds with me. You said it's it's. I'm glad that something's coming out of Winchester other than you know drugs, <laughs> right? Some heroin and energy. yeah, Death. And, and I feel like it's important for people to realize that yeah, that we, we do drugs too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, you two. Oh, damn. Potential we're gonna, hires. We're going to have we're gonna potential have to potential employers that are looking this <laughs> up. We're going to have to cut David off. Yeah. Um, but what, what I feel like it's important is to for people to understand that, yes, we're a small town. There's not a lot of people here, but at the same time, there's a lot of talent here. And there's a lot of people that are following dreams that they've had for a very long time, and they're very good at it. And I feel like if everybody can kind of get behind that, it can almost start a movement. And sure. that's something that I've really wanted to try to, to show with this podcast. And like the second that I saw you all, that's that's all I was thinking. And just the fact that a lot of people don't know about this stuff and, you know, kind of sleep on it is just amazing to me. Like there's so many talented people out there just from our little tiny city that is just mind-blowing. I oh, yeah. this all the time. Really? I do. I think we have a lot of talent in this town. I, I think so too. And I, I think that... If everybody spent a little bit more time kind of pursuing that and following the dreams of other people and supporting each other, that we would get better places. But it seems like nobody wants to support that, and it's just, right. it, it, it doesn't. I can't compute it. It doesn't make sense to me. Too many people are caught up in their own selves maybe. and their own little bubbles. Maybe, uh, you know, political arguments, all the crap that goes on on Facebook. It's like, man, you guys are wasting so much energy. Like, where's the positive energy? There's none of it out there, and it just doesn't make sense to me. So for me personally, I've done a lot of times seeking that talent out and trying to trying to get people on here to let them tell their stories and where they came from and what their goals are. I mean, and obviously it would be fantastic if this was some type of jump board for y'all. See, making you laugh? No, it just sounds like there's a cat somewhere. I can oh, hear it. It's, <laughs> it's kids outside. You want oh. me to go outside and handle this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Girl Scouts all over again. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, we were in the middle of a podcast and the Girl Scouts came to the door. And she course, wouldn't stop banging on the door. And of course, David gets up and buys some. You <laughs> <laughs> can't just say no. So, you gotta buy some cookies oh, for Probably we could get that. No, I'm not a jerk. And, and I was like, I was like, cookies. I was like, I've got some. Don't worry. What? Don't and they were like bootleg cookies too. There was like no peanut butter in those cookies. Oh, uh, <laughs> put on a rant. Do you want to hear something hilarious? Tell her truth. So these kids came knocking at our door yesterday, by the way, with a laundry hamper, <laughs> asking if we would like to donate money to the children's hospital. <laughs> That's all it takes these days. <laughs> and they had like a couple of pennies and a dollar bill thrown into it. Like, oh, people oh don't step bless up. its heart. We need, we need to start doing that for the podcast, David. Maybe it gets you some beats. Since my headphones aren't good enough. Kickstarter, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like, it's my beer fund. Excuse me, <laughs> sir. 
<laughs> you know, I'm I'm more likely to donate to people when they tell me the truth. Right, I am too. I met this dude in Atlanta. I was down there for UFC. Oh, worst fucking place in the world. Dude, it's crazy down there. I hate that place. <laughs> but I was down there for UFC, Chuck Liddell versus Rashad Evans. No, a good fight. Not a good fight. Stay I, I walked it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, no, this is this is one where this is one where Chuck yeah. got knocked out cold. By oh yeah, I was thinking of the the Yoda. I'm thinking Leo about the Yoda and Rashad. Yeah. So I go down there, Chuck Liddell shirt on, all pressed and nice, and he gets knocked out. So I'm just like aimlessly walking the streets with no shirt on. <laughs> I got my Chuck Liddell shirt, but I met this guy down there, and he tells me this crazy, fantastic story. It could be 100 percent false, but he called himself the Dollar Shop Preacher. He's like. <laughs> I want I want some money. I was like, "What do you want for it, man?" I ain't gonna lie to you. I just want to get go down and get like a forty from the the store. And I was like, "Since you did not lie to me, sir, here's a ten dollar bill. Go buy several." So yeah, I'm more likely to, I'm more likely to to give money to people like that. But yeah, I think it's a giant problem with the mindset of this town. Um, I, and it's been there since the beginning. It's, it's almost black hole sometimes. Man. It's like hatred. And, and it, well, I call it the boomerang. You call it the black hole, but I call it the boomerang because I moved away and I always come back. There's Same. friends that move away and they always come Same. back. And most of the time when they come back, they have a better perspective on what the, the city actually is. And I, like I said, I think there's so much good stuff going on here. That I hate when people like bash it. It drives me crazy. Like when they're like, oh, I want to get out of Winchester. It's, it's like, why would you want to get out of Winchester? Like everybody that we know and loves here. We got a cool Sakura down the road. Hey, yes. the place is delicious. Yes. Yeah, it, is, it is really good. I could eat that place every day. I might have some in the fridge on the second oh. shelf right now. <laughs> this man has everything. <laughs> uh, but I didn't get to tell you, all I got left is Thin Mints. Oh, the worst guy. You know what? I like Thin Mints. But I have a year supply now. So if you want some, David or your boyfriend can get up there. It's an, actually, I I have to hide them because I have children and a well, wife. Well, you said it. You said David or David. Like, it sounded like me and him are boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That's you might be. Cute you might have he, to be. He doesn't baseball. like that. <laughs> Look, at, he, Look, you wear a baseball hat, he wears boggins. <laughs> <laughs> People, they can't see this. So. You wear hats, it means you must be good together. Yeah. <laughs> you wear hats, hats like 40%. Conflicting of the hats, yeah. Opposites attract. He's wearing tennis shoes, he's wearing uh, dress shoes. It's perfect. I mean, it's it, cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you think that we fix this problem, though? I mean, I, I love to hear other people. Opinion on it as well. Like, how do you feel like you rise above it? Stop fentanyl. <laughs> that would probably be number one. <laughs> Stop fentanyl from being a thing. But I, a lot of people that are doing the haters aren't necessarily people that are bad off or, or addicted to anything or have any substance abuse problems. I think that's a, that's a direct problem of people hating. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I don't think you can stop the haters. It's full of just fentanyl and drugs and just... people die left and right and overdoses. and. Yeah, but some of the people that I see that aren't even necessarily here anymore or they're, they're still here and they're doing pretty well for themselves, they still want to kind of put the city down and they want to keep this like small mind mentality and not understand that there's a lot of people that are they're busting their ass to trying to make themselves better and, and to do something different and not just be a part of this box and i mean it's not where you live it's how you live exactly yeah I lost your advice, man. <laughs> i'm just trying to bust the bubble i'm trying to figure it all out and i haven't figured it out yet like it's just it's yeah. nonstop. I, I read through people's feeds on facebook and it's like somebody that i have a lot of respect for and then like I, I think that they have a lot of good things going on and then I see something they put and it's just like completely off-putting like everything becomes an argument and it's like damn just, just send a little love out there you know what I'm saying like it's fun to, to argue and have you can different... always vote for me for mayor I mean I'm gonna run or is that a fact is that a fact well, the, <laughs> actually I was I was going to and I still have about it I was going to run for public really? office yeah I had a pretty big following for a while nice. called hashtag mayor Lincas on Facebook you know whenever I don't agree with the president presidential people like when you go vote mm -hmm. I don't know why I said it like that <laughs> but when I go vote if I don't agree with anybody on the ballot I just write my name in <laughs> that's a good call <laughs> I've done it before <laughs> just, I think I should be the president works, though. I have like, a lot of good a ideas protest vote is just as strong as another vote and I always tell people that all the time people get mad and say you're taking from this person or this person 
No, because you don't agree with either person. That's why you did that. What if there was like some type of straight, crazy stipulation that said, okay, if there's a tie, then we go to like the second, and like she was like the second most <laughs> since she became president. That seems you like guys a, would love this yeah. country. That seems like a, that seems oh, like no, some type of movie. When Trump was running these nuts was pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> He got like two or three hundred thousand votes. Yeah, right? he was actually he, he could have been the third runner up. That's a lot. I thought Harambe was the third runner up. I think was so. It yeah, yeah, I think Harambe well, was, was the third runner up. Yeah, and then it was just guys. I think Harambe was right up there. So. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't even remember what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> the town, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know if we can fix it. Maybe, maybe Mary Linkus. Uh, is the is the answer? You gotta make things fun again, man. I guess so, man. I guess so, but it'd be easier if we just sold liquor here. I don't know how to make on things. Sundays. Oh, I'm sorry. I, don't even, <laughs> on Sundays, yeah. I don't even know. I, That's this, such a. We should we should need substances, Adam Linkus, <laughs> Mayor Linkus. <laughs> but still, in a free society, you should be able to buy what you want on a Sunday. Right. But you can well, buy on a I Saturday. Mean, I agree. <laughs> just, Excuse me, guys, but the president was talking here. She has a point to make. Yeah. Got to make things fun. We got to throw do. some shows. Got to put some art out there. Mm -hmm. And we don't need non-altering substances. Got to get substances. together and we got to make like a Pioneer Festival, but for art. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Pioneer Festival for art. <laughs> <laughs> they do Is that they what they work. call it? <laughs> they do right. have a lot of art. Well, they have a lot of art. Be for art. Yeah, it's supposed to be for art. It's supposed to be for art, but it's mostly it's just like, like, like weird art. stuff that yeah. nobody wants. Yeah. I'm not trying to be mean. I have some trinkets for sale. I'm talking about like the deep artists in this town, like the ones who don't get to put their stuff out put their stuff out there much like put it on display you don't even have to buy it just I think, like to look at it i think some people lack the confidence um, yeah the confidence or the uh i don't Want. even know what the, it's <laughs> something to take right. that jump and a lot of times the support that we could give each other could actually push people to that and and that's what i try to do i mean i would rather like somebody's thing of their dream you know, I like their puppy picture, their kid picture too. I'm not a, I'm not a kid hater or puppy hater, but <laughs> if they're going to put a dream out there, I'm going to like it. I'm going to try to support it. You know, I had Eric, we have Eric Matthews on a couple podcasts ago. He just moved to Hawaii. He's going to be a sports director out there. Everything he posts, man, I'm like, like, cause he's like posting about the Hawaiian sports and that's great. And that's somebody from Winchester that has kind of climbed the ladder and went elsewhere. And eventually I assume he'll probably make his way back here and be able to share those world experiences. Cause that's really what it. That's what it, really what put a lot of things in perspective for me. You know, I've been a lot of places. I'm in the Mexico, Jamaica. Saw people that lived in literally houses made out of road signs. They're like, right. holy shit, we, it's metal though. <laughs> it's like super metal. <laughs> <laughs> literally, yeah, literally, they were, really these metal. These people were literally living in a house full of road, a house made out of road signs, and we built them a house. And to see their joy and, and everything that it brought to them, it kind of brings them perspective. Winchester's not that bad. Yeah. We have a lot of good people here. We've got a lot of opportunity here. How many of those Jamaicans are running around? It's better than Powell County, I mean. We can at least say? say that. How many of those Jamaicans are running around on heroin? Yeah, I don't know if, the, if heroin was big back when I went. This was 05. Uh, definitely a lot of weed. You gotta look at the correlation. No, I'm just. I'm just yeah. Yeah. Say something, but I'm yeah, you can just say that. Get people to start actually taking care of the town. Yeah. They feel proud of the town enough to actually want to help everyone. Right. And but I think that's where we're stuck. I think the question, and, and it's like, like you said, we're stuck here. We're just spinning our wheels. How do we get to that point? Like you, you go to like a park or whatever, and people just destroy it. You go to, you know, me and David do a lot of fishing and stuff like that. You go there, people just destroy it. You go to the river. I mean, the river is a great natural resource for this town. It's too polluted. You don't want to go to the river anymore. <laughs> to to the river anymore. Uh, but Actually, they've cleaned it up quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah but people took their kayaking. sewage from their houses. Like, yeah, that's true. It. I mean... Well, I didn't back. get in it when I was kayaking. So I, was <laughs> I did when I was kayaking. I I oh, I water. rope swing right into the thing. <laughs> like, oh, oh, AIDS, yay! I drink the water and I've got like a fourth nipple growing. <laughs> Don't ask me how I got a third one. I'm completely embarrassed to say that I got stuck between my boat and the dock and went in and went underneath the water. My boat came up over on top of me. I had to oh, shove no. my boat off and everything like that. Since that time, never had an ear infection. I've had crazy ear infections. <laughs> I got strep throat. Your immune system had to fight everything yes. at the same time. <laughs> my ears are still not See, the same. my immune system it works opposite. Like I have to get that that bacteria. Yeah, but in me to, to hear you talk, you're basically a ninja turtle now. You kind of. But you know, back to the to the older <laughs> days, like 50s, 60s, 70s. 
uh, Boonsboro Beach was a crazy hangout place. Yeah, like, I saw pictures. You see oh, pictures, and it's pictures. just yeah. people don't stop. My mom like, has stories Ooh. of hanging out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. my great, my grandfather jumped into the river twice to save people from drowning. We have, we still have the articles from the newspaper from Winchester Sun. It's like, you know, that river and things like that. Like he said, nobody takes care of the town anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just go outside here and you look at my yard and these freaking kids that are everywhere that Actually, were screaming. Uh, the Boonesboro Beach is in uh, Madison County. <laughs> County. Thanks, David. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I actually went down to clean up litter off of Boonesboro Beach one day, just good for you. Because I go through phases where I'm like, That's this should help needles. nature. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't find any needles. This was before the heroin epidemic. I was in high school, this and is... we found this this like security guard, and he was like. Clean it up, and then I gave the spiel about how I like nature and I love Winchester. And yeah. he was like, "Well, technically, this is." <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. And so then she threw the trash. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> I, like, I didn't stop picking it up. Take it back. <laughs> so I'm going across the room. We'll see you later. Um, yeah, but I, I, I think he hit the nail on the head, and, and I wish that we could figure out a way to make everybody really appreciate the town and take interest in it. And and you know, I guess this is gonna be cheesy, but the, our greatest natural resource is the people, man. That one time you said something, it was like, uh, it was really like, you made a good point about there's no development on the river. If we built something like a boat dock or something public in the Clark County side, yeah, like you, you would get like quite a bit of commerce down there. Well, and I think that uh, here recently, the halls in the waterfront do really well. Yeah, but well, they don't have say. any access to the river directly from there. Yeah, and that's they're really kind of shortchanging themselves uh, by not doing that. But that's what I was gonna say. A lot of those uh, restaurants and stuff have bounced back. I mean. How long has has uh was it peppers or whatever been down there? They burned down. It's been gone bananas forever. Bananas or something. Yeah, bananas, bananas on the river. Banana peppers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's been there for like the last fifteen years. Well, the buildings burned down. Now. The building burned down, but like, you know, there is a little bit of a resurgence around those. And actually, I've seen quite a few bands. I've seen uh, Brett Higgins play down there. Yeah. So I mean, I'm sure that eventually you guys will be playing down there. Prototype, I, hope, I think is his prototype. Band. Yep. Hopefully, I'll be down there watching you guys. I try to like all of his stuff. I'm trying. He works at Halls. I got you know <laughs> grease the wheels a little bit. <laughs> got the double axes bump now. Yeah, so. I wish he. I wish people could see his. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a mafia. Like so. Birdman. But yeah, awesome. hopefully I have Brett on to the podcast at some point. Um, love seeing his stuff out there as well. Paul Higgins family, love him to death. Yeah, I have Marcus on. Oh really? Yeah, he's oh, he's man, doing some uh, personal training stuff now. Yeah, so. yeah, he's doing yeah. really good. So love love hearing all that stuff. But like I said, maybe maybe that's what it takes. Maybe uh, people taking pride and understanding. Like a lot of conservation comes from you know hunters and the dollars and stuff that they put into there, and and then you start seeing support for that and money backing it. So maybe it's actually money that it takes. So maybe a resurgence among the restaurants and stuff like down there. I don't know what it's going to take, man. I really don't. I think we're going to have to gentrify the hell out of the town. Like, kind of like, rich people in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorta. <laughs> we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to to have more like local owned things that are neat enough to bring someone from other cities to go. I want to go. I want to check that out. Yeah, like the engine house, things like that. You know, people are like, the oh, engine house cool. is awesome. I've heard people. Yeah, they got great draft there. beers. They got great food. Yeah. Like, we're gonna go there. Yeah. They they shut down the remodel for a while, right? Yep, they're back. Yeah, up. isn't there another? Um, there's like another restaurant that's coming to town. Uh, you know, you always hear rumors of stuff, and then it never transpires. But that's been really frustrating. I feel like. Maybe the city council and stuff has, has held a lot of people back at this sure. point. Sure. Like, it's almost to the point where I feel like there are, like, whoever's in charge is going to have to die. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much politics. Yeah. I mean, there's so much politics that kind of holds everything change. back, for sure. I mean, I, I I think it's absolutely. Have you guys played any Shannon Cox is still our city commissioner. <laughs> it like, probably <laughs> is. Hey, he was a good yeah. history teacher. He's just still our city uh, commissioner. Uh, uh, you yeah. guys remember getting him to say Cheetos and... <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, Let's be respectful. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. I have a history degree. He's the only person that ever gave me below an A in history class. And I don't like that. <laughs> it was just a meme, but I was like, no, dude. He gave me an A. He's like, I... I, <laughs> yeah, I, I had that like moment it. in my head before I said something mean. Uh, he actually gave me an A and I probably didn't deserve it, so... We just watched an uh, old history Hey, don't hate on the Patriot. Hey, I remember what you made. Uh, the Patriot is actually historically an hour. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 
I had no idea. Yeah, I don't remember all of it, but I just remember the the things that sucked and the things that were good. And <laughs> Shannon always gave me an A because he liked me, but I was actually pretty good at history anyway. So he liked me. He had me for two different classes and two different years altogether. Oh no, I had that. I had him in middle school and in high school. Movies in the TV. I never. That was the best one. Yeah, we only watched like TV stuff. Like any of the games, like all of the war movies. I am doing this, yeah. Well, Mr. <laughs> Cox is going to hear this, is. and he's going to become an enemy of the podcast now. So. Hey, but yeah. at no, least... All of a sudden, we no. loved him before we insulted yeah. him. So. I, <laughs> I still love him. He would make us watch uh, Dirty Jobs. I loved that show, and I never watched it before. My very class. Funny. We came up before. <laughs> we got <laughs> cheated. I love Dirty Jobs. <laughs> we, got, we, uh, we, we got cheated, man. We were there before Dirty Jobs came out. We didn't even watch uh, it. Yeah, we didn't he introduced work, me to Dirty Jobs. We watched a, we watched some good documentaries. I, had I just remember throwing shows. trash cans down the hallway and getting super pissed and amped up all the time. <laughs> what? He flex on people. Yeah, he used, to, he used to freak out when he was younger. Yeah, he'd flex on like you were doing. He was flex <laughs> on. Oh. He yeah, started getting mad. And like when he got mad, he would not stutter at all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was just clear speech. That's really common. It's like a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's That's hilarious. Kind of awesome. <laughs> I do oh like my that. gosh. Um, this is like the stutter of Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, with the you wouldn't look like me in the year 2006. I don't have anything against people who have a, a stupid disability. Um, <laughs> I, I had I Miss Humble, sometimes. and she was super hard. I can never memorize the countries in Africa and stuff like that. I didn't care enough to, so I didn't. I didn't do well in that. I was like, "Thank God, I got Shannon now." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> getting out of those AP classes and going down here. Right. Um. Well, this was. This has been a, a wide array of things. <laughs> um. But I was. I was wondering if you guys have played any local places either. You know, as ourselves currently, not anytime recently. Well, even we with the older students. bands. Oh yeah, we played what? Patch and Pub. Yeah. Once. Once. And, uh, was that it? That was what, it. What about, what about <laughs> with your... Wait, wait, wait. I played with Rocky. At the engine, at the house, engine house. Because, because I wasn't allowed. allowed. You weren't allowed? I've been kicked out of the engine house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to hear those stories. Uh, I can't say that on it. Uh, it's going to have to be a personal one. <laughs> I like the guy, and I, I, I kind of... So, people at home fill in the blank. <laughs> 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 hey, maybe this will bridge... Maybe Adam maybe might this have will, taken things a little too far. I might have taken things a little far. Maybe this will bridge the gap. Maybe this <laughs> podcast will get you back in. So, you're just, you're currently still not allowed there? No, I can come. I just, out of respect, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it was that bad? Yeah, I mean, I've been told I'm actually allowed back by said person, but... Nah, I'm not, I'm not coming. <laughs> what about with the man? Still won't play music there? Uh, maybe. maybe. I feel like that's that's one of the bright spots to me. You know, you've got Woody's, you've got uh, we'll probably Engine play House, Woody's. you've got Waterfront. <laughs> uh, I don't, Halls Woody's. doesn't do a lot of music, do they? We'll play at Waterfront. Yeah, Halls does music. We'll they play down like there. They have a whole stage karaoke machine, back there. and he's like, got like a little karaoke machine, but he's got his guitar he's playing. It's pretty cool. Um, I uh, I love the Waterfront setup. With yeah. being able to open that up and have the outside yeah, there, like the weird garage door things yeah. they could just like throw up. Yeah. Dude, you're blown up. You're a popular guy. I know, right? I what's yes. happening? I'm about to turn that thing down. <laughs> uh, if, it, if it was live, I'd be like, dude, it's blown up. Kanye. Do you guys need anything to drink? We'll make David get it. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll take a beer. Okay. I got y'all. You think? I, I still haven't opened my water, so thank you. Well, I, you know, you, you, you didn't oh, even want to take. Oh, <laughs> you didn't want to take anything, so I kind of, I kind of made you yeah. take it. Yeah, no more stuff. I, I just was giving you a hard time. Just, no, I mean, that's I just want to talk. I just want to get like, oh, no. It's that's not terrible. Speaking. I get to talk Wait, about I, how popular. Who are you talking to? What is more important beer. than beer. what's going what on she right now? Water? She didn't want anything. She's got her water. Oh, what is? Well, can you even open it this for you? This podcast. Did you put that through my... See, I ain't going to kick you out like the engine house. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? So yeah, I think I think oh. that's one of the bright spots of the town is that there's so many places to play and I, and I would love I, I, if you guys play here I'm, I'm gonna come I'm gonna make an exception and make sure that I yeah. play. how hard <laughs> <laughs> as hard as I can with all of my heart I will be there especially if you give me one of those stickers I'm gonna stickers. 
Actually, our old guy has all the stickers, but I'm getting new ones made. Uh, my buddy's designing us new ones. Oh. Like, is he like Great. an old man, or is he like an old guy, like someone y'all used to know? <laughs> like, uh, an old guy listening to blues. Like, I guess he's stickers like, all he's, day, and he's like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm getting old, so I guess we're all old men, right? We're all yeah, old yeah, guy at this point. Yeah. How are we doing on time, Dave? I don't know. No, I'm just playing. Uh, battery's still good. Memory's good. I'll let you know. Like, how, how long have we been running, though? I'm interested. Because this has been such an easy conversation. I think it's been like an hour and ten minutes. Oh, See, yeah. I told you to fly. It's yeah. crazy how fast it is. I told you like to about about a half, two hours probably be good to yeah. do. Yeah. We'll split it up. So we got to figure out what to talk about for the next 20 minutes of our lives. What, uh, what else you got? Um, I really want to know, uh, I had the problem of mu problems of music, which was really interesting to me. Because I wanted to hear some like bad breakup band stories, but you guys didn't give that to me. So, <laughs> and then we uh, Generally, you don't want to throw other musicians under the bus. I didn't want to throw anybody under the bus. I yeah. mean, that's what it's going to feel like, like okay. to the that other people sense. who are going to see that. that. They're going to be like, I don't want to be thrown under the bus. I just didn't know if it was like... like I actually felt bad, and we should probably cut it out that I told like out loud that she had a worse experience than I did. I'd appreciate that, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't think about it until, because... until I did, and I was like, that should probably be cut out. That's, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, they're not gonna listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they might. They're on my Facebook. Yeah, good. So. Well, yeah. I'm deleting it. So well, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe so. not. You, we don't know any. I might any reactivate any it though, and then they're that. You're gonna, you're know. gonna change your mind. And we'll delete this part too. Yeah. of talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the beauty of a podcast. Is that it's all out here <laughs> in the okay. open. I didn't say anything. <laughs> and the whole force of uh, Mr. Cox and the city council is gonna come after us too. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, he's not. He's not gonna want to challenge me as mayor Lincoln. That's hashtag Mary Lincoln. On Facebook. <laughs> hashtag Mary Lincoln. Um, but yeah, I was really interested in that dynamic. I didn't know if it was just because you guys got tired of hanging. Out. Like, as a, as a non musician, I don't know if it if it comes down to I'm just sick of seeing you and hanging out with you all the time, and or if no, it's more artistic. It feels that way sometimes. It does with when you're in a especially band. if you're touring. Yeah. Or you're like you oh, guys yeah. got to be in tight quarters for long periods. Have you of toured time. before? Uh, no. I uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't want to. Ever? Uh, maybe fun. if like I had like a big ass RV and we all had like little that. separate rooms or something where I didn't Showers, have to see you dudes, bathrooms. and I could like not smell you guys <laughs> in the same with snacks. Yeah, we had somebody financially <laughs> backing it. Yeah, something <laughs> yeah. to back it other than just yeah. like us in a van. Like I mean, I think the only is try like a try like a a little like. A four door like sedan. what he's got going on out there, <laughs> yeah. and then just a little. little Are you talking about the, the government van outside? <laughs> no, like it's a reoccurring thing on the show because there's a government van that parks outside. No, it's way. the FBI guy. He listens to us a lot, but he never says anything back. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, until they come really? in and go so yeah. so. I mean, it, whenever I refresh my Wi-Fi, it says FBI van, but you know. I need to tell you, they're actually out there. So that might be the number. Oh, we are screwed. She's an alien too. Oh God. It's, it's, it's my redhead family, in case you didn't know. Oh, so is that is that why you, you you actually have natural red hair? No. Oh, I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't, oh, this is, this is lost. Like I was just straight serious. Yeah, it's lost, it's completely lost on me then. Um, so she's an naturally alien. Naturally green. Naturally green. That's pretty, <laughs> yeah. I'm, Her roots are just you know. Well. Where she dies. Your Facebook page that you hadn't <laughs> deleted yet. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's the girl that I'm going to be doing the podcast with. And I was like doing legs and trying to be serious. And I looked at her profile picture and she had red through her hair. And I was like, I don't know if that's her because she had green. But now I know that it is. So, yeah. I like to switch it up on people. Yeah, that's place. that's pretty, it's probably a good thing. Not that the FBI knows who you are. And, <laughs> <laughs> like, they know who I am. They've got all the cameras and all the laptops. So They've got an open profile on you now. So that's no, not good. Yeah. But yeah, these these are all questions that I have as a non musician. Um, did you go on a big tour or is it just a smaller? It was smaller. Yeah. It was around. Like... And you still got tired of being around people because it's small. Well, it's it's not so much you get tired of being around people. Like with my band, you just get very overwhelmed sometimes because you have songs to write and then you have yeah you have to make it and then then they want to go record it somewhere and that's taken like a week off work to go because we drove up to. Columbus or Cleveland or Columbus is farthest, right? We drove there because it took us six oh, hours Cleveland's to get like, there. Cleveland's, Cleveland's right, right over there. Cleveland's like okay. right the lake. So wherever a six hour drive would take us in Ohio. Probably Michigan. Columbus. Sounds about Columbus. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we drove six hours and then we had to stay in this hotel for, you know, however many days to a week and I had to take all that time off work and it's just right. a lot of pressure and planning and pressuring and then 
you come back and then you got to do all the shows and it's a lot of planning and pressure. And the shows are the best part. They're fun. <coughs> I would imagine yeah. so. That yeah. it's kind of like that instant gratification. You just like, get overwhelmed and kind of. There's not a drug times. in the world that will compare to that feeling. And right. You'll never be able to recreate it. Right. Everybody wants to be a rock star. Yeah. So, and like you imagine that growing up, and I don't think that <laughs> even imagining it ever probably compares to the actual feeling mm -hmm. of it. So the only time you nice. feel like is when you're on stage. Mm -hmm. The only time. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> so you've done recording too, though. <laughs> so whenever you you record a song and you let it play and it just freaking is amazing, you don't get that feeling then either. Or is no. it different? No. Recording no. is very. Especially if you're somebody like me, I, I pick it apart really bad. So oh, yeah, that makes sense. I kind of hate myself at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Similar to recording is not fucking fun. No, not at all. It sucks. Recording is the worst it's the part. The worst of part. Musician. Yeah, I'd well, say so. I watch it. Hey, people are like you watch your own podcast. I'm like, yeah, I have to watch my own <laughs> podcast because I don't know what I'm doing wrong and like. There's a lot like saying like, and it's, I'm like, God, I can't believe I said that again. So, and I was like, like Oh, I thought you did so good. You're like, No, I'm a perfectionist. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to be. I think you have to be a perfectionist to reach a certain level that makes people want to watch it. And obviously, you know, we're still trying to grow this, and mm -hmm. you guys are trying to grow your music. And I think you almost have to be. And I think the people that aren't don't make it very far because it probably means they don't care enough. Okay. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also think that you also have to push people's buttons to get them to listen. Yeah. That might be true. Yeah. That's what David's been saying the whole time. Yeah. He like had this uh, scenario where like you guys walked in and maybe hit you with a guitar. And no, like, Jeff Jarrett's song. <laughs> <laughs> he like or, already slapped me. Or he, yeah, he like, yeah. I guess he made you mad and antagonized you and so you hit him with your guitar. So we had like all these scenarios to get people to watch, but I'm like, man, sooner or later is the more you persevere, you're not, you're probably going to have to do that stuff. And I truly believe that with you guys as well. You, I mean, I understand what you're saying. You have to push people's buttons, but at the well, same I mean, time, Howard, 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 Howard Stern do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's true. Exactly. Like Joe well, he's controversial. Yeah. Controversial. That makes sense. But he has a smooth voice too. <laughs> he's got he's that. He's got Robin. He's got that whiskey. And he voice. also might be, uh, What's that dude that with the glasses and the top hat that always plays guitar? Slash. 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 He might be Slash. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the top hat on. He Slash. Takes it off. He's now he's turning. Makes right. sense. Yeah, he might be slash a lot of money in hair product. Maybe you can go out and ask the FBI guy. I always heard that Slash's hair was fake. I've always heard that there's multiple Slashes. <laughs> well, I've heard that too. Yeah. So Apparently yeah. there's been like, there's not just the South Park episode, but in real life. You there's been like skill. him playing. In like separate venues, in completely different parts of the United States. I vote States that the, the next show time. we do, I get a top hat that has hair in it. <laughs> Let's do it. Just tie this up and put it on. I'm down. Really? Only if you yeah. be like, what's rain. going on? And then I'll, I'll, learn, I'll learn how to shred this uke. <laughs> um, Doesn't the chicken for on blunts, what's going on, have a crazy weird top hat? Yes, yeah. Yeah, both yeah. should yeah. I need some with, with dreads. So you guys are making progress already. This <laughs> progress is just flowing all out. Um, to kind of be i guess critical of, of something that you said as far as picking yourself apart and we kind of talked about a little bit off camera like at some point in time you have to you have to listen to it and be like that's that's amazing right do you agree with that is there ever a point i don't time get to a point where i'm like that's amazing i listen to it and i'm like that's reasonable <laughs> basically it. yeah <laughs> it's kind of like for you that. in martial arts like you're never perfect at what you do right yeah. You're only you're only so satisfied to a certain extent, but in that a certain way you do something. In that moment, aren't you kind of perfect though? Because if if me and you are grappling and I hit a triangle and I finish you with that triangle, isn't that moment perfect? And if she sings Rihanna and, and we're all sitting here like that's that's just dope. I mean, isn't that isn't that that perfect moment? Not really. It's but when, it's when you have when you're on stage. That's that perfect okay. moment. Do you believe anybody when they tell you you're perfect? Because that's one thing I have a problem with. You talking about being a perfectionist, but I have like oh. people are like, you did a good job. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. People, <laughs> people come that's up, what I kind of think about when you ask them that. It's kind of like the podcast. People go, yeah. I really enjoy your podcast. Oh yeah, which ones do you like? And they're like naming ten minutes off one podcast. <laughs> I like, didn't watch those things. Yeah, I didn't watch any of them. <laughs> I, just, I just like oh, okay. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, what do you say to that? Yeah. But. At the same time, like I would think that sooner or later you would have to give yourself a little bit of credit, and uh, I mean I, I don't know if I can do it, so I'm, I'm probably. I think music in basically any kind of artistic inspiration that you try to do, you're always scrutinizing yourself no matter what. Just like you draw something, you're like, I don't like that ear I drew, or like I don't like that eye I drew, or 
I don't. I, there's something you don't like about it. And you constantly want to change. Well, it. too, it's interesting because when you record and you write your own music, a lot of the things that go into that writing is very emotional. So after some point, you're done with that, and you have to keep hearing it. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of feedback. <laughs> yeah, I keep hearing that too. Yeah, so. we'll, we'll turn it down before we go to music. So yeah. apologize for the, the feedback. We got a little too loud here. Um, and after that, you kind of hate it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask you about that because is everything that you all have released so far been cover stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have a couple originals, and I really want Brittany to kind of grab that. You can do some of her own. I think. Do you have any yet? Not yet. Oh, I really want to make some of her own. I think work. it'd be really good. I think yeah. she'd be really good. I think that that would be that would be amazing. But I mean. Doesn't matter who I go see in concert. I love a good cover song. I mean, right. I, think, I think that that has right. to be, you know, a staple. I think the there. covers are really just a way of me and Brittany getting tight as musicians together. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's important. Our own well, I definitely have lyrics. I just don't have a whole melody and song. But right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's awesome. We yeah. should definitely tap yeah. into I'm that. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> Make so, a couple of them. I mean, one of the top fans right now in, on the rock scene is basically just a giant cover band. Who's that? Five Finger Death Punch. Oh. Uh, uh, Bird Company! <laughs> just hey, a Five Finger band Death Punch. got famous. Call me. Yeah. That's all they do is yeah. covers. And their cover songs are pretty good, too. I mean... Um, nah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> nah, so, yeah. I get a lot of hate. He looks like a yeah. He's like, first Metallica, now this. Yeah, he doesn't like Metallica. I'm like, I didn't say oh, I didn't like him, but... I like Metallica, Black Album, and then before... Well, no, two songs on the Black Album and everything before it. And then the rest of the songs on the Black Gun album and everything above it are just terrible. Well, I think that's a pretty common metal opinion. Do you like Metallica? I do. Um, depends on the day, though. As weird <laughs> as that sounds. No, it sounds makes, I can only so often hear, yeah, hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to make me mad. Really I'm really agitated, I can't listen to Metallica because yeah, I feel like they agitate me further. Metal. <laughs> that's very true. Uh, well, <laughs> <a year> <laughs> <laughs> he uh, didn't he blow his uh, he blew like his vocal cords out on the black album, oh, right? He kind of had to re that's reset. That's pretty common. Yeah, there's a lot of metal singing. Yeah, yeah. You're actually supposed to sing from your diaphragm. Yeah. All these dudes are screaming from their throat, and they're you really messing up like themselves. Weeks after. Yeah, Adele had that problem, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. She had like. She like she was gonna sing again. I cried when she sang on that award show. That was emotional. She's amazing. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, she's great. I guess I can't say amazing watch it? anymore. I'd say reasonable. Well, I she's be. reasonable. It's true. <laughs> it was beautiful. She yeah. found her voice again. No, well, it could be amazing to you. It's, like it's reasonable to her, probably. Right. Reasonable, Adele. It was so sweet. And that's probably what makes her great. I heard a really good story. Um, <clears throat> it was about Kobe, uh, basketball player. You guys are all familiar, I'm sure. Um, mm -hmm. The the guy that raped those girls. <laughs> No, he just it was girl singular. Right. He didn't do it. He's, <laughs> he's talking about R. Kelly. <laughs> and, no, uh, he got. He got. No. They said they. She, like there was an accusation at one point. They just got Sir. thrown away. That's why I said singular. <laughs> and he didn't do it. You're committing blasphemy right now. But anyway, oh, no, he didn't I, do I, it. I don't think he did any of it. <laughs> okay, we'll see. We're in I actually, like, I watched NBA. I, I hope he did all of it. I don't watch <laughs> basketball, but I watched. He like here. everybody at home. Uh, we don't agree with the non-consensual relationships. Anyways. I put the sensual back in non-consensual. <laughs> Let's talk about deer. <laughs> um, but like we talk about like the craft and never being satisfied. There was a, a doctor on the Olympic team that went in mm -hmm. at like 4 a.m. and he had Kobe had messaged him and say, "Hey, let's do a workout." And um, the doctor got there and Kobe was already covered in sweat. And he's like. You just get here and you're already this sweaty. He's like, no, I've been here since like 12. So he goes through a full workout with the doctor from the USA team. He'd already been there for four hours and then goes back and shoots jump shots as the doctor leaves. And so kind of what you're all saying in that are the same thing to me, like never being satisfied and are always trying to improve. So I guess, I guess, you know, for me, I've never found anything that I'm really that happy with. Even in the podcast, there's times that I'm like, oh God, why did I say that? Or you know, why I keep repeating myself here, my voice sucks there, whatever it may be. So, I mean, I feel like that's that's what makes you great. So, you guys are probably right. I'm probably wrong. But as a fan, I can look at it and be like, yeah, that's amazing. You guys, the Hurricane song for me, I love the Chris Cornell cover, but when I listen to it and I heard you guys both together, I'm like, 
I just jammed it like as loud as it would go. And that my... was stripped from us. That was taken. That was taken from you? <laughs> I'm not going to get into it, but it was taken. <laughs> it was of... stripped from it's us. It's still on the YouTube page, right? Stripped. Well, I mean, it's it's a it's a cover, so I can't get mad at people for covering right. a cover, but a cover that you never heard they before. Stole that cover. <laughs> right. They stole our cover! They stole our cover! <laughs> We're going to take a swap. They took our cover! <laughs> I'm pretty... <laughs> Whoever took it... I'm $25 for <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure whoever took it, I don't know if they can jam as hard as you all did, so it doesn't really yeah. matter, right? Yeah, nah, it doesn't really matter. There's always no. more We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine either way. Like, like I said, it's a cover. I don't really care. It's a cover of a cover. I loved it, though. So it's yeah. a cover of a cover. There you go. I, care. I like that. I care. Bones on that. You're leaving him hanging. You're going to leave me hanging? Oh, I didn't see your bones. <laughs> well, I hope that you don't. I have gotten fatter. <laughs> <laughs> I see mine still. Uh, whoa. Anyways, um... Yeah, so I'm really anxious to hear your all's uh, original music as well. Can't wait for that to come out to be able to oh, listen yeah. to it. And, um, how how long before you guys are gonna try to do shows? Uh, well, I mean, the goal is as soon as possible, but the life doesn't always give you that opportunity. Not, yeah. So, well, if you'll need a manager, there might be some guy around here that doesn't have anything going on right now. His name, <laughs> his name might be David. He owns a couple of ties. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I, you know, I'm I'm anxiously awaiting, and uh, the the podcast thing, like I don't feel like we're anywhere close to being ready to all this stuff. But sometimes you just gotta take a leap, and I'm sure you guys know that as well. Oh, absolutely, man. Gosh, I wish the feedback would cut out. I know. Well, maybe I should just like you know. Wait oh, let's get. Yeah, okay, we got no touching before. Don't touch it. Oh, <laughs> so. What am I saying? Well, maybe we should. Uh, <laughs> To wrap it up, since we got the feedback, we'll have to adjust the mic. So, um, no, so no, de no timeline, deadline of when you guys are gonna start this. I mean, we could try to give ourselves a deadline, a lot of fire under our asses, but we're gonna really say mid October. <laughs> I don't, I'd like to say Ambitious. spring 2019. Ambitious. 2020, we want to make it even. Ambitious. Right. I got like this weird like ADHD like <laughs> thing. I just gotta it's gotta be twenty twenty. It's gotta be twenty twenty. That's <laughs> when the future begins. Makes sense. And and you're gonna set up some social media pages too? Yeah, we'll probably set up some social media and try to get ourselves out there a little bit more. Yeah. And you know, any anything I don't know how much help I can provide, but like I'll provide putting all the YouTube videos straight what in. What can you play? Probably nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I'm completely I can, can play basketball. Spoons? <laughs> no, I probably can't do that either. What's that? What's that cover band that does all the ACDC and stuff with the crazy spoons? I don't know. Uh, Steven Seagulls. Yes, Steven <laughs> Seagulls. Oh, that's uh, what'd you say? Nothing. Hey, Seed Dixie. Yeah, I was wrong. I love Hey, Seed Dixie. Yeah, that's great too. Yeah. Iron Horse is like my favorite though. They actually dedicated the last song to me. And uh, did you cry? No, just like <laughs> I was do. hammered. <laughs> I no hey, didn't I see? I saw you at the Hank Three concert, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, that's, I knew I saw you somewhere. Yep, I was there. And then like, and then like, it was awesome because Ass Jack came out in a bunch of like armor and smoke, and they're playing <laughs> that their doom metal stuff, yeah, and every cowboy hat in the audience just turned around yeah. and left. Yeah, they, he's <laughs> a super talented guy. I can see a lot of similarities from the metal to the country as well. With oh yeah, Hank Three's one of my favorites yeah. ever. Every time he sings the rod, I get like. Kind of chills a little bit. It's just Do you listen to a lot of Hank Three? Yeah, I've the listened right. to. He's still left from Dave Brown Co. Yeah, but I like it's Dick more... and Dixie a whole lot. That's a great one. <laughs> yeah, he calls out ninety eight point one for being yes. garbage country. Yeah. It's awesome. And Kid Rock in the same song. Yeah, right? Kid Rock. No, that's uh, that's uh, nobody likes us. But uh, Dave and my brother actually were the ones that introduced me to Hank Three. Oh, he's so good. So, so I was good. blown away by the show and how yeah. much. You, that's something else you, I, I was going to say like your energy has always really impressed me like you're just a super energetic guy like all the time 100% it's something that's hard for me to do like I, when I come home like oh, I need a nap and, <laughs> so I've always kind of been impressed by people that have like a non-stop motor that just go all the time that's that's been super impressive to me and I can see a lot of the similarities so maybe maybe you are Hank Three. maybe you're reincarnated I, I hope He's that I, I hope that though. I embody him somehow but I'll never be on his level of talent <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I don't he's know. a he's on a he's on a Williams line of yeah, awesome, true. but he's he's so not. <laughs> oh no no, you got to skip Hank Jr. because fuck Hank Jr. He sucks. <laughs> I can't stand him. Well, he's got some good ones. He's definitely yeah. he's definitely closer to his oh, grandpa for sure. So <laughs> he's got some bad ones. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Damn. So social media coming, shows coming, 
music coming. It's all on video now, so you can't you can't change it, can't rearrange it. So <laughs> um, it's coming. You, you know, you have you have the last word here. Do you have anything else to add? Um, stay woke. Stay woke. Vote for Mayor Linkus. Hashtag Mayor Linkus. Hashtag Mayor Linkus. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag stay woke. So, well, um, you know, we're going to fix the audio first, and then we'll get you guys to play a little bit of music, and we might pair these together and apparently omit some of the stuff that we're doing. So Adam's going to have to take the chip, the micro USB, and, and fix it all. But That's fine. Um, I, we really appreciate you guys listening. Um, you know, make sure that you go out and like their own personal pages, Adam Linkus, Brittany Page, and then oh, just like ours, like theirs too. Yeah, and she can't delete her page now if you go and. Oh, I can't, can I? No, no. All right, I'm they... keeping Facebook. Ah. <laughs> so much accomplishment. Oh, I forgot as a musician. How does Mark Zuckerberg pull me in every time? <laughs> I want to know. That crafty bastard. You get away, and he just pulls you right back in. <laughs> but yeah, definitely go like their pages, their social media pages, uh, Kentucky Swamp Waters. One word. Swamp waters is one word. Yes, that's that's uh, unique. Well, it was, no, a, it was a artistic. <laughs> it was an artistic decision I made by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I went with it. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had a couple of those that have backfired, but I, I think swamp waters <laughs> is a good decision. So, uh, but definitely go like those pages. You know, make sure that you subscribe to their YouTube page. Um, and then like the the Facebook, maybe Instagram, maybe too. I don't know. I mean, uh, I have an Instagram. Much, uh, yeah, you can you but, can friend Brittany. <laughs> yeah. My name's not Brittany on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You're not so gonna like, tell, you like a catfish profile. You're not something. gonna you're not gonna say what it is. You're just gonna leave people like in like that. I'm trying to think about. What it is. <laughs> um, but I maybe maybe you can do the Facebook page and she can do the Instagram page. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And then I mean, can, we'll both bother the oh, admins of both of them. But whatever. Necromancy Nancy. It's my name on Instagram. Necromancy Nancy. Add me. That is awesome. <laughs> I think I tried to add you. I think you must not accept. I'm gonna get what Instagram just to add. Um, whenever, Nancy. whenever I was prepping for all this stuff. Oh, send me another. I don't send me know. If, I don't request. know if it was the right one though. I don't know if it was Necromancy Nancy. Do you have two? <laughs> no. I thought maybe. Wait. Know. Was it a hair one? I have a hair page. Uh -huh. Oh, it should still be necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get all the new clients in, right? Right. Uh, so definitely go follow them. Make sure you like the Double Axis podcast page as well, and and hopefully we have you guys back on soon and do our part a little bit better. And whenever we listen to the music beforehand, make sure to turn the volume back down on the microphone. <laughs> and maybe uh, we'll have a we'll have an original for you. At that, oh, that would be amazing. I I would love to do uh, Facebook Live because so many people can watch it, and we can just sit there and watch how many people watch it and get instant feedback. Mm, maybe one day. I'm not saying. I'm not saying soon, but maybe one day. Oh, I say we do it now. Well, like this. I tell you what. Uh, I can it's promise you, if you're doing shows, I'm gonna be Facebook Live in it. I'll oh, yeah, for sure. That's fine. That. That's fine. We're That'd prepared for shows. We're not always prepared for. Well, like, I mean, maybe we can I'm do a prepared. prepared event. <laughs> she's she's born ready. Always. I'm gonna pull my phone out. And she's gonna be like, "What? Well, I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there to see. Get some contracts. Necromancy Nancy was uh, here trolling me. She wasn't ready for that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, definitely like the the Double Axis podcast page. You, David, I give you the final word. You had a bunch of good questions before the podcast started. Have they all been sufficed and answered? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music are y'all listening to right now? Yeah, that's so I get question. my people out there some recommendations. What y'all listening to? Mm. That's a good question. I like Paramore's new album. Listen, I know I said I didn't want to be compared to Paramore. I was about to say, I thought you said you didn't like But their Paramore. new album, they they went there. I like it. I dig it. It's different. Okay. It's different. I've been stuck on Infant Annihilator. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one that you sent me? No. Probably. No. Um, yeah, it's probably the one I sent. Oh, Don't so you. I yeah. Uh, I listen to Iron Horse every day. So they did you would actually of, really like Iron, Iron Horse. Horse did a lot of the picking on series where they did covers. Yeah, yeah uh, I listened to a lot of that. They have sometimes. two albums. Actually, they got famous because of it. Yeah, or they're all Metallica songs, but bluegrass style. Greta Van oh, Fleet. Cool. Yeah, Greta Van Fleet. Yeah, Greta Van Fleet. Yeah. Yeah. Straight Led Zeppelin. 
right? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. If you like Led Zeppelin, bluegrass, uh, um, Iron Horse has a bluegrass album called uh, A Whole Lot of Bluegrass, which is nothing but Led Zeppelin covers. I need to, yeah, I need it's to check that out. It's pretty good. It's on Spotify. Uh, I need to check that out. Yeah, Greta Van Fleet, I just happened upon them, and they're from Detroit, which is where my wife's from, and she loves Led Zeppelin. My family's from Detroit. So, so I'll let her. I was born like the Nick City order. That's cool. You guys probably have a lot of a lot in common then. Um, but you know, I let her listen to it. She's like, "Oh my god, they do!" It. Like, it's, it was crazy. What is it, the highway song or whatever? I was like, oh. "I'm the highway." Is, it, is that the Greater Van Fleet song? Oh no! Oh, I no. thought you were talking about Chris Cornell. <laughs> uh, That's I why I was know. confused. I, I was like, "Huh? We we were doing that one." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's the one we're gonna be playing in a minute. I think it's called Highway Song, the Greater Van Fleet. Oh, song. Highway yeah. Song. Just yeah. like Highway Song. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. I think that's the one, the one that's called like Zeppelin. Yeah, so, no, I got you. That's a great song. Do you, do you not want to know what I'm listening to these days? No, that's why I said you all. I didn't It'll say be Fleetwood Mac three. on Monday. It's been it's yeah. been uh, a lot of Metallica lately, ever since I watched the documentary. So I've kind of been sleeping on the What's something new you've on listened Netflix? to that you don't normally? New that I've listened to that I don't What's know? a new band you discovered? That's that's a good question. I don't know if I've discovered a new band. Kentucky Swamp Waters. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect answer. That's absolutely right. That's what you're supposed to yeah. say. <sighs> Yeah, I guess I, I I wasn't getting the question there. I, I'm <laughs> That's a new band discovered. Yeah, yeah, a new I band. I don't. <laughs> I was thinking metal. Is there a band here? I was thinking metal still. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just gonna have to cut that part out. <laughs> so Kentucky Swamp Waters is the band, but I mean, I legitimately have. I, I took David and I, and I just hijacked his ears. I was like, "Dude, listen to this." And this was before you guys had agreed to be on the podcast. I was just like, "Just listen to this." And I'd go into the Bluetooth of the thing. And I was just like cranked it up as, as loud as it would go to, to do that so I and mean, I said it's gold baby <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't put his I was like David I can't believe you actually like this he just walked like. up and was like needs more cowbell man I'm just gonna tell you, <laughs> more cowbell. I'm just gonna tell you guys though when you go mainstream David's gonna start hating you <laughs> that's the that's the the formula with David I don't think that I would it's like okay. to be mainstream well, to the point to where I'm mainstream. Have me as a manager. Well, then you shouldn't have been on this podcast. Like, as, <laughs> as mainstream as, like, Hank 3 is. I go mainstream because you don't want to go downstream. So. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's true. It's my, it's, it's what I live by. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think you guys got it going on, and we will show that here shortly with our little video clip of you all playing, and I'm very excited for it. Sweet. And I will pay you guys extra if you play Rhiannon again. <laughs> <laughs> if I can sing... No, you know what's, you know. You, know, you, you deserve me like as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to harmonize, man, you I was joking. You're welcome. Was I'll take a choir. That sounds <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but uh, we we appreciate you guys watching and immediately following this, we're gonna fix the microphone situation, let them set up, and then uh, do a couple jams or, or one jam. So uh, we appreciate you for for the Whoa, we appreciate you guys for watching, and we'll see you the next time.